Hey there, it's Izzy here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can export a presentation from Keynote as a video, bring it into Final Cut Pro 10 and edit it and add voiceovers to create a video without even using a video camera. So this is a way, one way that you can integrate Keynote with Final Cut Pro 10. I've had several people ask how to do this, so I thought I'd make a video showing how. Okay, now, as always, there are a lot of different ways you can do this, I'm just gonna show you one way. So first of all, I wanna show you that I do have a presentation here. These are several slides I created as part of a webinar I was giving. And there's some interesting things about this presentation I just wanna show you before I make the video. I'm gonna hit play here to start going through the presentation slide by slide. And you can see I have transitions. So if I hit the space bar, there's a little animation as it's flying in. And, and then I'll hit the space bar again. You can see there's a transition here between slides. Okay, so you can see I have animated transitions. I'll hit the escape key to get out of my presentation. I'm also, I wanna show you that I have something else that are called builds. And a build is a type of animation that happens in the middle of a slide. So it's not an animation as you go from one slide to another one. It's an animation that happens in the middle of a slide before you have a transition you know, or after transition. In other words, you're, you're in the middle of showing a slide but you wanna have some animations happen on that slide. Well, that's what a build is. So here's, actually, let me go to this one here. I'm gonna hit play, you can see, if I hit the space bar, I go to the next slide. Nothing happens here until I hit the space bar again. And now a little red X appears. That's a little animation build. And then I hit the space bar again, another red X appears. And then if I hit the space bar again, I see another transition. But the reason I wanted to show you that is because my presentation has both animated transitions as well as animated builds. And I wanna maintain all that in my video. So how do you create a video from your slides? Well, there's several different ways you can do this. I'm gonna choose File, I'm gonna to go to Export, and I'm gonna choose QuickTime. Now, under the QuickTime pane, you'll notice that Playback uses Manual Advance as the default, and that's not what I want. Manual Advance means that I'd have to hit the space bar to go from one slide to another one. What I'm gonna choose is Fixed Timing, and that means that I can choose, for example, each slide, I want the duration of each slide to be three seconds. I'll just change it to three seconds here. And the duration between builds, in other, words, in other words, those animations that happen on each slide, I am going to choose build duration of three seconds. So it'll wait three seconds between each of the build animations on that slide. Hopefully that makes sense. Repeat, I'll leave as none. For the format, it says full quality large. I'm gonna change this to custom. And the reason why is because I want to create something that I can use in Final Cut Pro 10 right away. So I wanna use Apple ProRes 422 QuickTime file. So I'm gonna choose the settings button. Make sure the compression type is Apple ProRes 422. Yours may not say that. If it doesn't, switch it to Apple ProRes 422. Now you only see this if you have Final Cut Pro 10 on your computer. Otherwise you may not have the ProRes codec. I'll select it. I'll choose a frame rate. Here I am in the USA, so I'm gonna choose 29.97. That's a common frame rate here. I'll leave everything else the same and choose OK. And I'll click Next. Now I need to choose a file name, so I'll just call this Presentation Exported Video. Then I'll click Export, and it'll start the export process. And you can see what it does is it brings up this window and it just shows you the different slides, the frames as it's making the video. And it doesn't take very long actually to create the whole video. I have 20 something slides I think in this little presentation. And it just cruises right along. Now I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing, but you can see that it is creating slides for each of the animations, the transitions, the builds, and everything like that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut, we'll come back and bring it into Final Cut Pro 10 and edit the video there. Here I am in Final Cut Pro 10 now, and you can see I have an empty project and an empty event. I'll import the video clip I just exported from Keynote, so I'll choose Import Media, choose my Thundercat drive, I'm in a folder called Easy Video 227, and Here's the video clip I just created, presentation exported video. I'll choose import selected. I'll leave everything pretty much on their defaults. I do wanna point out this transcoding, create optimized media. This is something that's not gonna take very long on my system right now because I pretty much created an optimized video clip already by choosing to export as a ProRes 422 video clip from Keynote. Final Cut Pro 10 likes QuickTime movies and if it's a ProRes 422 QuickTime movie, that's gonna save you a lot of time. Okay, I'll click import. Now I have my video clip here in my event browser. I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose it, select it, and hit E on the keyboard to bring it down to my storyline. And now let's just play through it. I'm gonna move the playhead to the very beginning and hit the space bar, and let's just watch the first few slides here. You can see that was one slide as it fades to black, and here's the next slide with a nice animated transition. Waits three seconds, goes to the next slide, waits three seconds, goes to the next slide, and so on. 
Now, three seconds isn't long enough for me to add a voiceover that's going to be meaningful for this type of a presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the playhead to the beginning. I'll go to the window menu. I'll choose record audio. And now you can see that as I talk, I'll be adding voiceovers to my video once I hit record. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to try to time my presentation to be fairly close to what I see on the slides, but it doesn't have to be anything even near it because there's a trick I'm going to show you on how you can change the timing of the video to match what you're saying. Let's do this. I'm going to hit record. Hey there, it's Izzy here. Welcome to my webinar on video lighting intensity and color. We're going to talk about how to adjust lighting intensity and color. First of all, who am I? I'm Izzy Hyman. I'm the producer of IzzyVideo.com, the person behind the website. Let's start by talking about how this session is going to work today. All right, I'm going to hit the space bar to pause. And now I'm done with the first part of my audio voiceover. I'll close down this window. I'll zoom in on this area here. Just command plus to zoom in. And now it's time to do some editing on our video clip and audio clip here. So the first thing I want to do actually is edit this audio clip because this first part I don't want to use. So I will move the playhead right here. Just click. That's right before I start talking. I'm going to go up to edit. And then there's this option called trim start. And what that does is it trims off everything before where the playhead was. And you can see the command, the keyboard command is option left bracket. I'm going to just select it right here. Oh, apparently I didn't move the playhead. Let's do that again. So I'll move the playhead. Make sure this clip is selected and choose option left bracket on the keyboard. Now that worked that time, it trimmed it off. Now let's do the same thing to this clip. What I'm gonna do is move the playhead right before this pops up. So maybe right here, I'm gonna start with black actually. Option left bracket to trim it. Part of my audio clip isn't showing up now, so I'll just drag that over. Now let's play through it and see what it looks like and sounds like. Hey there, it's Izzy here. Welcome to my webinar on video lighting intensity and color. We're gonna talk about how to adjust lighting intensity and color. Okay, so this is important because the presentation's moving too quickly. I want it to stay on a slide. Well, how do you make a video clip stay on a certain frame? Well, you add a freeze frame, so let's do that. I'll just choose a frame right before the transition happens, maybe right around here. I'll select the clip, go up to edit, and choose add freeze frame, and you can see option F is the keyboard shortcut for that. Now I have this freeze frame clip that I can adjust to be any duration that I want, and that's gonna keep it on that slide for as long as I need it to. So let's just say, for example, we're playing through it. And color, we're gonna talk about how to adjust lighting intensity and color. First of all, who am I? I'm. Let's adjust the timing of that. I'm just gonna move this a little bit to the left so that when I say, first of all, who am I? The new slide shows up that asks the same question. Let's try it from here. To adjust lighting intensity and color. First of all, who am I? I'm Izzy. In fact, what I'll do is I'll trim it to the left so that when, it's, when I'm answering the question, who am I, the new slide is popping up already. All right, so let's try this. We're going to talk about how to adjust lighting intensity and color. First of all, who am I? I'm Izzy Hyman. I'm the producer of IzzyVideo.com, the person behind the website. That happened too quickly, so I'll just add a freeze frame there to adjust it. So maybe right before the transition, right around here, just make sure that I'm on this video clip and hit Option F on the keyboard to create the freeze frame. I'll start playing through it. Video.com, the person behind the website. Let's start by talking about how this session is going to work today. Okay, so the person behind the website. Let's start behind the website. All right, so right here would be a good place to go to the next slide. So I'll choose option right bracket now on the keyboard to trim off the end of that little clip, that freeze frame clip. Now let's test the timing. Com, the person behind the website. Let's start by talking about how this session is going to work today. And that's how you do it. So using a combination of the video clip and freeze frames and voiceovers, you can make a video where the animations and the timing of everything match up very nicely for you. Hopefully you found this information helpful. I'll see you in the next video.